That was a hazardous consultation of the Liber Mortis, my lord. An ordeal of high and low doom. The moment I approached the book, it bit me most ferociously. I must apologize for the explosion that blew off the door of the chamber unbreachable, but the simultaneous emergence of 17 demons from the book's spine caused a spiritual detonation in the soul-stormed air of the room. The whole enterprise was an experience most horrendous. None but I could have endured it. I was almost damned twice. Even now, my soul is twisted to a corkscrew. I suggest you keep the state of your soul to yourself and inform us instead of what you have gleaned from the grimoire. Well, there was mention of an obscure horror, the Dread King. But of his nature or his kingdom, I learned nothing. But I discovered rather more concerning three objects that are involved in the present threat to the Empire. The first of these is the Jewel of Morsleib, apparently located in the east in Sylvania. The second is the Hand of Nagash, rumored to reside in the region of Kislev. And the third is the Black Grail, which might conceivably be found in Bretonia. These objects must be investigated. Commander, I give you the task of seeking them out. As Countess Isabel was kidnapped by Count Karstein of Sylvania, I suggest you explore Castle Drakenhof, the Count's residence, deep in Sylvania. It would seem the most likely location for the jewel, as Count Karstein is clearly involved in this matter. Also, it is imperative that you rescue the Countess before Karstein gives her the kiss of blood and makes her his vampire slave. I'll save her, whatever it takes. This is personal, Volkmar. What more can you tell us of the Jewel of Morslieb? All I know is that the Jewel is almost certainly in Sylvania. It is, so the Liber Mortis says, a special evil. A spiritual amateur like Bernhardt isn't capable of accomplishing the mission unaided. He could easily fall foul of devilish traps and infernal spells. I, however, being pure in spirit, am immune to all demonic tricks. I also have excellent contacts in Sylvania, which I'm sure Bernhardt does not. I'll ride on ahead and spy out the land. Just as soon as I've burnt a few heretics. Do what you like, Matthias. Just don't get in my way. And call me Commander. Whatever quarrel you have with the Witch Hunter General, leave it aside for the moment. Direct all your energies to locating the jewel and my cousin. I wish you good fortune, Commander. Although good fortune will be hard to find in Sylvania. Farewell. And then forces ahead! Prepare to engage! A regiment of Imperial Greatswords has been waiting for us here. They're under instructions to join your army, to the very end. That's the good news. And the bad news? The Kemperbad townsfolk have sighted undead forces in the surrounding countryside. I have to leave you for a while to, um, pursue my mission. The mission of saving souls. That's good news for me, and bad news for the souls. Ready the men, Klaus. We march for Sylvania. Who the hell are these maniacs? Oh no. They're flagellants about to whip themselves up into a frenzy as usual. They don't seem too keen on flogging their own backs at the moment. That's true. It's not often flagellants leave off from self-punishment unless they've got an enemy to lash out at. I wonder what makes them stop. Hey, you! Are you the leader of this regiment? Yes, I'm the leader. Eusebio by name. <laughs> Can't you sense an evil presence there in the forest? We can. <laughs> we were marching to Wordbad, but we had to stop. They're watching us from behind the trees. Evil eyes, evil eyes. There's nothing in the forest. You men are frightened by your own shadows. Listen to the silence. He's right, Morgan. 
Listen to the silence of the forest. Something's frightened the night animals speechless. I take your point. Eusebio, why don't you and your men join up with us? Gladly, Commander. <laughs> Safety in numbers. Morgan, Greenskins. Greenskins coming from the trees. Greenskins? That makes a change. Attack! Ah, Commander Bernhardt. I'm Ludwig von Oberdorf of the Imperial Army. Our steam tank's been damaged. Can you help us? I'm not a mechanic. I meant, can you help protect us while we're repairing the tank? <laughs> he knew what you meant. Don't take that straight face of the commanders too seriously. Anyway, what's happened here? My crew were driving the steam tank to blighted towers. We were part of a force assigned to exterminate a rabble of greenskins who have taken over the towers. But, um... Your tank broke down. Yeah, and now we're isolated. Our escort halberdiers have been killed by orc patrols. We are alone. How did you survive the attack that wiped out the halberdiers? We... Uh, we hid inside the steam tank until the orcs left. But they could return at any moment. Will you aid us? Tell me more about Blighted Towers. Well, they're on the way to Sylvania, and they rise high into the clouds. But they can be taken, my lord. With courage and resolve. Watch out! Orc ambush! Prepare to defend. Commander, my crew can reach Blighted Towers to launch an assault on the Orcs there. But we can't succeed without your assistance. Well, it's on my way. Besides, my sword arm could do with the exercise. If we escort you to Blighted Towers, will your tank crew come with us to Sylvania? I'm sorry, but we'll need to go back to Altdorf for essential repairs. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Morgan, we could lose valuable time here. And we might gain valuable allies. Let's press on to the towers. Cannon and the mortar crews are already here, Morgan. Primed to attack the towers. All they were waiting for was the steam tank. Everything's ready for the assault. Commander, if you join forces with us, we have a good chance of scouring the towers clean of ox. Agreed. Launch the assault! <laughs> Bernhardt, what are you doing here? Indulging in swordplay with greenskins while the undead legions march across the Empire? Just passing the time. You, cannon and mortar crews, stay where you are. Taking up war as a profession now, witch hunter? As a representative of the Emperor, I am commandeering one of those war engines for the mission to Sylvania. Now, cannon or mortar? Which one shall I choose? You don't. I choose. I won't stand here bandying words with you. I have an urgent mission to fulfill. I must leave immediately. More heretics to burn? You'll end up in hell, Bernhardt! I was born there. Commander, I must return the steam tank to Altdorf. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it. Klaus, we resume the march to Sylvania and Castle Drachenhof. Undead horde waiting up ahead. Launch the assault! You're here. At last. A battle got in my way. You should try fighting in one sometime. Have you searched the castle Karstein yet? The castle is deserted. Empty corridors, empty rooms, empty halls. Where's the Countess? Why are you so concerned? It's personal. It so happens there was one room that wasn't quite empty. I found the Countess there, alive and unharmed. Here she is. Commander, somehow I knew you'd come. I guaranteed your safety with my personal word. I try to keep my promises. Here, this is the least I can do. Accept this gift. 
the heart of woe. It has a magical potency. A generous gift, Countess. I owe you far more. Think nothing of it. Klaus, make sure the Countess is kept safe and gets the best of care. The very best. I know, I know, it's personal. Matthias, have you found anything else of value in the castle? I told you not to call me! Oh, never mind. It may lead under the castle. If it does, I'll lay long odds that Count Karstein is down there, in the tunnels. Or perhaps a crypt. Then we'll explore those tunnels. Klaus, ready the men. We'll have to leave the artillery on the surface. They're not able to negotiate the tunnels. Otherwise, ready and willing. Foul bloodsucker, I come to lay you to rest once and for all. The duel is mine. Kill them, my slaves. Count Karstein destroyed. Mission accomplished. I couldn't have done better if I'd been in command myself. High praise from you. Now let's return to Aldorf and report our success to the Emperor. The artillery has been mobilized for the journey back to Aldorf. Ready to ride, Morgan? Ready. I'm pleased to see you back in Old Dorf alive and well, Commander. As for you, Witch Hunter, I believe you bring information. Indeed, my lord. The jewel of Morsleave proved to be a warpstone fragment. It was mined by Count Karstein's minions. For what purpose, I'm not yet sure. I am. While Commander Bernhardt was out on his adventurous jaunt, I once more braved the horrors of the Liber Mortis. It is a source of regret to me that the newly repaired door of the Chamber Unbreachable was again blown off as a ravening chimera escaped from the grimoire and blasted its foul soul essence into the mortal world. But accidents will happen when dealing with the occult. Be that as it may, after a desperate struggle with a monster composed entirely of fingers, I finally discovered hints about the Jewel and the Dread King. The Jewel was intended to magnify the Dread King's power, feed his strength. And the strength of the Dread King is Dread itself. An aura of dread surrounds him, cowing his servants into abject obedience and unnerving his enemies. It is now apparent that Count Karstein was an arch-servant of the Dread King. I don't know about the Dread King, but as for Count Karstein, he's been destroyed and his plans for the duel were destroyed with him. Then a disaster has been averted. If the duel had been passed to the Dread King, his power would be formidable. What of my cousin, the Countess? I brought her back safe and well. On the return journey, she told me that Karstein desired to make her his vampire bride. We arrived just in time to save her from the Count's fangs. That's a special debt I owe you, Commander. And one I will not forget. There still remain two more objects to be investigated. The Hand of Nagash and the Black Grail. Commander, I think it would be wise to search first for the Hand of Nagash. Is anything known of this hand? I can tell you little, except that it is a thing of terrible power and is most likely to be found in the Kislev region. Kislev? The region is a hotbed of heretics. 
A man like Bernhardt could easily be led astray by the blasphemous doctrines of that realm. He cannot be trusted to travel there alone. I shall accompany him on the way and give him the benefit of my wisdom. Don't put yourself out on my account. I would suggest that you travel to Kislev by way of Talabim. The people of Talabim are in urgent need of help. Good fortune, Commander. Farewell, my lord. Morgan, an augur wants to speak with you. He claims to have vital information. Then let's hear him. My name's Erblad Rocker. That's your problem. It's an honorable name among ogres, my name is. And my word can be trusted, my word can. If you're headed for Talibon, the road to it's flooded. I can show you another way that goes clear of the town. But you'll have to fight your way along it. Hard to believe. I've heard no report of any flood. Besides, all ogres are the spawn of the Dark One. If what Erblad says is true, he'll be saving us valuable time. But I don't know. I never did trust ogres. I hardly trust anyone. But I try to keep an open mind. We'll go with Erblad and see what happens. Now you've got an ogre at your side, your enemies will get a real thumping. <laughs> you just see if they don't. <laughs> yes, we'll see. Greenskins ahead! Told you we'd have to fight, didn't I? This is folly! Time-wasting folly! I hold you personally responsible for this, Bernhardt! Then sit down and write a report about it while the rest of us fight. We attack. Now! <laughs>